What's up, performance athlete Jay Marinek here, and I'm about to take you guys through my dumbbell bodyweight blaster. The goal of this workout is we're gonna be keeping that heart rate up, we're gonna be building strength and burning fat. All right, so this workout is structured a little bit differently. We're gonna be working for 40 seconds, resting for 20, and then resting for a minute and 20 in between sets. This workout is gonna take about 30 minutes, so if you guys are ready, let's get after it. All right, we're kicking things off with Romanian deadlift. A little bit different than, than, than a normal deadlift here because we're gonna be going for a tempo of four, two, and one. So we're going four seconds down, two second pause in the bottom, and then one second coming up. Key point here, guys, is keeping that spine neutral. I see way too many people at the bottom of that deadlift cranking their neck back, keeping it into full extension, looking up. Make sure you guys are looking down, keep that spine completely neutral, through the up phase and through the down phase. All right, now we're moving on to the dumbbell push-up pull-through. That dumbbell is gonna be about at your rib cage, right? We drop down to that push-up, extend to the top, we reach across the body, really try to keep those hips locked in, right? Don't sway back and forth, pull that dumbbell through, make sure your feet are about shoulder width. Down back into that push-up, alternating sides. So this movement has a major core focus because what we're doing is we're fighting against the rotation as we pull through, which really forces us to lock that core in and really work those abs and core. All right, so we're dropping down to the floor. We got our hollow body crunch. We extend the legs out, we're pointing the toes, we're keeping our low back pinned to the floor, arms up overhead. What we're gonna do is we're gonna draw those knees in while we draw our arms down, contract the abs and core, and then extend back to our start position. So we really wanna to try to keep the legs off the ground and keep that tension the entire time. If you absolutely have to rest, that's okay. Get right back up and keep moving. All right, we're moving on to the dumbbell thruster to reverse lunge. This one's gonna be rough, guys. Really focus on that front rack position. We're gonna start off, we're gonna move down to that squat, keeping the dumbbells nice and tight to the body. We're gonna thrust out of the bottom to an overhead press bringing it back down to that front rack position, and then stepping back into the reverse lunge on each leg. Key things to focus on here. After that thruster, you might be a little bit off balance, so really make sure you get set, you step back, right, stay nice and tight, core tight, and drive up. So you should really be feeling this movement in the quads, glutes, and hamstrings. There's gonna be a whole lot of suck in this movement, so really stay focused, keep pushing through. Moving on to the broad jump to high knees. Now the heart rate's already gonna be up nice and high after that thrust of reverse lunge. So we really gotta take a deep breath, get focused. Feet under the hips, we draw those arms back. Big jump forward, landing with a soft knee, and then we fire those knees going backwards. I really want you to focus on arms and legs going at the same time, fast going back. Moving on to the dumbbell single arm bent over row. So the heart rates are gonna be really high here. I really want you guys to focus on technique. So really stay focused, keep breathing. What we're gonna do, bent over row position, make sure the back is nice and flat, core is tight. We're gonna row, two second pause at the top of the rep, extend back down, and then hit the other side. There's gonna be a lot of time under tension here, so you're really gonna feel this in your hamstrings and your glutes, just holding yourself in this position but then we bring in the single arm row with the ISO, which is really gonna fire those posterior delts and lats. So now we're bringing it back down to the floor, going to our hollow body pullover. So we're gonna get set up into our hollow body position, which we already worked at the beginning of the workout. We're gonna grab our dumbbell, we're gonna put it up into that bench press position, right? Keeping that low back pinned to the floor, toes pointed, we're gonna reach that dumbbell overhead. We're gonna then bring it back to that starting position. Really make sure you keep those toes pointed and keep those legs raised. We do not want to rest. If you absolutely have to, touch down real quick, pop back up. We really want to keep that time under tension here. Really keep those abs and core working. So now if this movement's too advanced with the weight, there's a couple different ways to modify. You can do it without the weight, and you could also bend the knees. All right, the burpee tuck jump. It's the final exercise in the circuit. Hands under the shoulders. You're gonna kick those feet out. Jump the feet in. Big tuck jump, bringing those knees up. Let's bring the intensity. You're gonna get a nice solid rest after this. Let's go. Key points here, really make sure 
Nice soft landing on those jumps. Do not slam down or have your legs extended when you land. Bent knees, soft landing, receive that properly. Really make sure on that tuck jump, you're bringing those knees as high as you possibly can here. We're working legs, we're working core. Let's go. You should be feeling it. Back, biceps, chest, core, legs, full body. I recommend that you do this workout twice to maybe three times a week. The full breakdown of this workout is detailed below here at bodybuilding.com. If you have any questions about this workout, find me on Instagram or Facebook at JTM underscore fit. For more free videos and articles from performance athletes like me, come back to bodybuilding.com.